You know, the books of Ezra and Nehemiah were originally a single book in the Hebrew Bible that follows the fulfillment of God's promise to his people to return and restore their ruined temple after 70 years of exile in Babylon. But as we read about today in Ezra 4, it wasn't without opposition. And the strategies, the tactics of their enemies in that day, well, they're very similar to the tactics of our spiritual enemy today. You see, their enemies sought to bring them into compromise by requesting to join them in the work of rebuilding the temple. Then, through intimidation and coercion, they sought to discourage the people of God. And finally, they just condemned God's people by writing letters to the kings who had sanctioned their rebuilding efforts. They accused them of being rebellious and began slandering them and suggesting that the king, that he should look into these rebellious people himself. And as this chapter closes, we see that these tactics of compromise, coercion, condemnation, had an impact on the progress of God's people. They actually stopped the rebuilding work for nearly 15 years. But the last verse of this chapter shows us that ultimately, God's sovereignty prevailed. King Darius discovered that King Cyrus had granted permission for the temple's reconstruction. And he actually decreed severe consequences for anyone who tried to stop the rebuilding work. And the temple, well, it was ultimately rebuilt. You see, the enemies could not succeed forever against God and his people. Their only victory was to delay the work, not to defeat it. And as believers, as we're following the Lord, you need to know that you will experience similar tactics of compromise, coercion, condemnation from the enemy of our souls. But trusting in God's sovereignty means believing that he's in control and he will work all things together for our good. Even in the face of opposition, we can rest in his faithfulness. So let me leave you with sort of a, an exhortation and encouragement from the New Testament as we face our spiritual enemy in this day. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you may be able to stand firm against the strategies of the devil. And as the apostle John wrote, you belong to God, my dear children. You've already won a victory over those people because the spirit who lives in you is greater than the spirit who lives in the world.